वेलकम टू द सीरीज ऑन स्टॉक एनालिसिस यूजिंग गूगल शीट इन आवर अर्लियर वीडियो वी हैव लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू फाइंड आउट 52 टू वीक हाई प्राइस एंड 52 टू वीक लो प्राइस इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू फाइंड आउट द डेट्स ऑफ दो फिफ्टी टू वीक हाई प्राइस एंड फिफ्टी टू वीक लो प्राइस सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड So first, let's understand what we are going to do. So you can see here we have 52 week high, uh, 52 week low data. Earlier we have learned how to find out 52 week high price using this formula. Now, in this video we will learn how we can find out date on which 52 week high price occurred. So this is the formula we can see. It appears a little bit complicated, but we are going to understand how we can frame this formula. here we are going to find out the date for 52 week low price i am going to frame this formula using different steps so we'll learn all those steps one by one so i'm going to create another tab in which i am going to write the formula so consider this uh, b3 cell which contains name of script now we go to another tab where we are going to frame this complete formula step by step so there are four steps involved the first step is you get one year data then we are going to sort data as per price from that we are going to pick up the first date from the sorted data and then we are going to convert that date which we get in terms of number into human understandable uh, date representation so first let's understand how to get one year data for selected script so you can see here I have used B3 cell for representing name of script, so I am going to write formula with reference to this B3 cell. So first, let's see step number one: get one year data. So I am using Google Finance function. You can see it here. Google Finance function has these parameters. The first is the name of script, that is ticker. So we form it by concatenating name of script with nse colon nse stands for national stock exchange stock exchange of india then we have attribute we we are interested in finding out high value of that script on particular day uh, third parameter is start date and the fourth parameter is the end date in case we want data between two ranges then it is possible so as a end date i have taken as today's date and as a start date we have taken date of 365 days back in the past so we perform today date minus 365 that's a start date and end date is today's date so once we hit this once we execute that formula we are going to get this data so let me show you i have deleted that formula now i am going to write that formula here we'll see data for this script for last one year so you can see the first date in the data is 24th of may 2021 and the last date is 20th of may 2022 now step number 2 is we need to sort this data in such a way that the highest price will be at the top uh, so let's see that formula so the formula is here now let me show you how i have formed this formula so i delete this part so that you can understand so there is a formula called sort which we are using to sort this data so first is a range so i'm shortly going to show you what i will write here temporary i have placed uh, double quotes from the data i want to sort as per second column so if you see the data here this data i want to sort as per column number 2 so that's what i have written here column number 2 and third parameter is whether i want ascending sorting or descending sorting so here i want the highest price at the top so i select as a descending order so i i have taken is ascending as false now what we have to do is we are going to copy formula from here which gives me one year data i select formula from there and then i place it in place of this 
two double quotes so that you can understand that how this formula is framed. So now you can see that we are getting data where the very first row has highest value of the price. Uh, in the next step, we are going to pick up this date. So let's see the formula. Again, let me delete this part so that you can understand what exactly we have done. So from this data, we want to pick up value of this second cell. So from the result, this part represents first row, this part represents second row and in the second row, this part which is F3 that represents the date on which this 52 week high value occurred. We want to fetch this result into this cell. So we use this index function. Index function takes first parameter as a data range. Now from that table data, I want to select the result from second row and from the second row, the data is present in the first column. So the date on which 52 week high value occurred is on row number two, column number one in this result data. Now we are going to copy result of the step number two. This formula we are going to place it in the data range of this index function. So we are getting that date, this date in terms of number. Now the last step is we convert this date in number format into human understandable format. So that's very simple. So there is a function called to underscore date. Now to this function, I'm going to supply the result of the previous step. So I select this cell and from here, I copy formula and I simply place it in the to underscore date function here. So you will get this date which is 17th of January 2022 on which this 52 week high price occurred. So in this way we can find out the date of 52 week high price. Uh, in the same way we can find out the date of 52 week low price. So we have to do two changes in this same formula. Instead of high we are going to write low and in the ordering we are going to make it as a true. So once I do that, I'll get the date which represents the date of 52 week low price. So we copy this formula in our tracking sheet. So you can see here I copied that formula here for getting the date of 52 week high price. Same way formula here to get date of 52 week low price. Now let's verify whether these results are correct or not. So we go to NSE website and we search for InfiScript. So we get this data which shows us the 52 week high low values. So you can see here the 52 week high price is 1953.90 on 17th of January 2022. So we can see it in our result what we have got. We have got 17 January 2022 and value is same. For the 52 week low price the date is 19th of May 2021 and 1333.90 rupees 25 pesa is the low value. If we see in our result, we get it as 1335 and the date is 25th of May 2021. So there is some uh, difference here, maybe what uh, starting date this NSE has taken. So it will depend on that, but we get result near to what is uh, shown by the stock exchange. You can also verify for this second script called tech mahindra so same way we search for that on nscindia.com here we get 52 week high and low prices and their dates you can see here 
52 week high price is 1838 and in our result we are getting 1838 and the date is 30th December 2021 which is also same here on the NSC stock exchange and 52 week low price is 962.60 and the date is 19th of May 2021. In our result, we get result very close to that. Once we do this, we can copy this formula to all other cells and it is automatically going to find out result for all other scripts. Very quickly, we have got results for other scripts also. So in this way, you can do analysis of stocks. You can easily find out the dates of 52 week high price and 52 week low price. Thanks for watching and happy learning.